And now for something completely different. Let's see what's going on back here. Huh, would you look at that. Welcome, Commander Mal for the win here for HCS Voice Packs. You've seen how to purchase and install an HCS Voice Pack, how to set up your microphone, and how to train your computer to better understand you. The rest of these videos are going to cover making changes to your HCS profile using the HCS Voice Packs customizer. But before we go there, let's take a closer look at the Voice Attack software itself. Understanding it and how your HCS Voice Packs work inside of it will be of great benefit as we move forward. The main interface. This is the main hub for all Voice Attack activity. There's a lot going on here, so let's get to it. First up is the profile section. A voice attack profile is the container that holds all your voice executed commands and responses. Your HCS voice pack comes with a very complex profile that contains all the instructions voice attack needs to make the magic happen. Right after you install voice attack, you'll have only the default profile. Once you've installed your first HCS voice pack, you'll find three new profile options here. One for Elite, one for Star Citizen, and one for No Man's Sky. To activate a profile, simply select it from the Profile Selector drop-down. That's it. No OK to press, no save. To the right of the Profile Selector is the Edit Profile button. This is where you'll go to add, remove, or edit commands in your profile. Keep in mind, the HCS profiles themselves are actually locked down so you can't directly edit them in this manner. Just to the right of the Edit Profile button is the Profile Management button. This contains options for you to create a new profile, export or import a profile, duplicate the current profile, or delete a profile. We'll cover custom profiles and custom commands in a later video. Below the profile section is the recognition log. The main portion of the window shows what voice attack is hearing and the actions that voice attack is invoking. This list is quite useful when determining if you need to speak more clearly or rethink the names of your commands. It's also a great place to find out what's going on behind the scenes and what voice attack is actually hearing. Most messages that appear in the log will have a color-coded indicator to the left of it. Green is a recognized command, yellow are unrecognized phrases, orange and blues are system and status messages, reds are errors, and grays are responses or informational statements. Stay tuned at the end of the video for some tips about the recognition log and some cool little extras. Along the bottom of the window is the level bar. This is a graphical indicator of the microphone input currently used by voice attack. If you're talking and your mic is not muted, you should see a gray bar moving in sync with your voice. Note that this bar will turn red as an additional indicator if listening is turned off in voice attack. And last, on the right hand side of the window, we have the control panel. At the top of this column is the audio indicator. This icon indicates the status of your current commands, unrecognized, recognized, or error, and it also acts as a mic muted indicator. Below that is the stop commands button. This will halt all macros that are in progress. This will also stop any playing sounds or text to speech, and any keys that are currently in a press down state will be released. Next is the listening button, which enables or disables voice attacks listening feature. By default, listening is typically enabled, allowing voice attack to perform actions on commands it recognizes. When the feature is disabled, voice attack will stop performing actions on commands that it recognizes. The only commands voice attack will process when listening is disabled are the commands that tell voice attack to start listening again, or commands that include your override listening keywords. You can also bind a hotkey for this feature through the voice attack options screen to act as a toggle for enabling and disabling listening, or to act as a listen while held down button. The next two buttons enable or disable voice attacks keyboard shortcuts and mouse button shortcuts. Below that is the joystick button toggle, which enables or disables voice attacks joystick button detection. At the bottom of the control panel is the options button. This opens the options screen where you will find various settings for voice attack. Now, let's take a look at that options dialog in a little more detail. If you remember, we used the options button in the last video when we were setting up your microphone. There are five tabs on the options dialog. On the general tab, you can choose a profile to load at startup, and you can choose additional profiles to load on top of your HCS voice packs profile. We'll go into a lot of detail on this in another video. The recognition tab is the one we've already visited. 
You can check out that video here on the HCS Voice Packs YouTube channel or using the link in the description below. The audio tab contains options for overriding specific listening and playback devices in Voice Attack, along with some other audio options. And the hotkeys tab is where you can set a push to listen or stop all commands key bind or joystick bind. Lastly, we have the system advanced tab that contains all those, well, kind of nitty gritty advanced settings. Mostly, I find myself here only if things have gone horribly wrong and I'm troubleshooting, or if I need to import or export my voice attack settings. You can stop watching the video now, but I hope you don't. I'm really about to blow your mind with some cool tricks and tips for voice attack. Override listening if my spoken command begins with... This is a really cool option. Remember, if voice attack is not listening, if listening is disabled, it won't execute any commands and won't hear anything except for a command to start listening again. This is your workaround. So if you wanted to listen to nothing except when you say a special key phrase, this is where you would go to activate that feature and put in your word or phrase. So you might want to start with computer or you might want to start with system. Think of it like saying Siri or Google or Alexa before you start a command with one of those devices. It knows not to pay attention unless it hears that key phrase. This is your way to do the same thing with voice attack. Recognition log. So I told you there were some more stuff here and there is. You can right click on this log and choose to edit a command, select it, copy it, clear the log, um, change the sort order of the list by putting newer messages at the bottom instead of the top. And you've also got some display options here. Now, this is the fun stuff. Double clicking a recognized log entry will take you to the edit command screen for the selected command in the current profile. If you double click an unrecognized entry, it'll prompt you to add a command and take you to that screen. Since the HCS voice pack commands can't be edited directly, this is really most helpful when you're dealing with either a custom profile or a custom command that you have created. It will aid you in testing those commands and has probably saved me quite a few pulled hairs, but it is a quick and easy way to get in and troubleshoot, change, or add a command when you know that voice attack has either recognized it and isn't doing the right thing or doesn't know it at all and you need to add a new command. The context menu. Like all Windows programs, right-clicking the icon in the upper left of the Windows title bar opens the context menu. But in addition to those regular Windows options, Voice Attack have added some great, cool features here for you. The Reset Active Profile basically reloads your profile as though you had just started Voice Attack, and Reset Speech Recognition resets the current speech engine that Voice Attack is using. Typically, you won't have to do this if you have your voice recognition set up correctly, but every now and then, you may need to. There's an Always On Top option here, which is great when you're gaming full screen. It works really well in conjunction with the compact mode option, which makes the window much smaller. And my favorite, Cover of Darkness. That's right, Voice Attack has a flippin' dark mode confirmed. That's all for this time. You'll find tons of official and community support for Voice Attack at their website, voiceattack.com, as well as on their user forums and at their Discord. And be sure to drop by the HCS Voice Pack's official Discord if you run into any problems or need additional help with your HCS Voice Pack. You can also stop by my stream at twitch.tv slash win to ask questions and see HCS Voice Packs and Voice Attack live in action. The next video will be an introduction to the HCS Voice Packs Customizer, which is a critical part of your HCS Voice Packs control and experience. Until then, this is Commander Mal for the win, reminding you that thanks to HCS Voice Packs, you never have to fly alone. <laughs>